y'all welcome back so today I'm going to be doing a very different video for a couple of reasons so today I am going to be reviewing the flex cup menstrual cup so the reason I want to do this video it's very uncomfortable for me I'm just gonna let you know right off the bat because every video I've seen of people like reviewing these have light periods and for me and I'm sure many of you out there I have the heaviest of heavy periods like most of the women on my mom's side of my family have had to have hysterectomies because of complications because of how horrible our periods are like debilitating pain so bad like I have to bring a heating pad to work so I ordered this on my last period but it didn't get here until maybe like so my period is normally seven days I know I know um and it came around day five so obviously it wasn't gonna be a good test for me because um some of the people that I've seen making these videos, they're like, oh, it's only this much blood. You don't bleed as much as you think you do. I'm like, yes, I do. Yes, I do. So number one, finances. I don't want to be spending as much money as I'm spending because I go, I know this is TMI, I'm sorry, but I go through tampons like crazy. I probably go through like 10 a day including a pad. So if you think about that financially, I was buying a new pack of tampons every period and that's expensive. So the flex cup is $40. I did not want to try the discs because if you go on the flex website, you can get like the cup and the discs for a certain price because with the discs, you can have sex and do all sorts of other things while you're on your period. That thing freaks me out. Like I saw like some people saying like their cramps were less and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. It freaks me out. I'm like, how, how do you pull it out? Um, so this is my first menstrual cup ever. And the reason I was drawn to this cup in particular is because the pulley tab. So later on in my period, I will actually like not in my period after my period's over, I'll show you the actual cup. So, but I'll post a picture right here of what the cup looks like. So as you can see, there is like a little pull string. Well, when you're looking at the cup in person, that pull string goes inside the actual cup. So when you pull on it, it breaks the seal. Cause a regular one, you have to like stick your fingers in there and squish it until you break the seal. This one does it for you. But the problem with this cup, and I'll get into my first experience, so I started my period yesterday. And don't you love those unexpected, like I wasn't supposed to start for like three more days and I started yesterday in the middle of my shift. So I um, didn't have it at work with me yesterday. So I came home, I came home for probably, I wanna say like 10 hours. No, that's wrong. Backtrack. Backtrack. Came home, was extremely exhausted because of my period, took pain medication, turned on my heating pad, and fell asleep until 10 o'clock. That's what happened yesterday. So as soon as I got up, I did not go to bed till like 3 a.m. I know. So after that, I put in the cup around, um, I want to say 11 or 12 because I, I just didn't think didn't think about it. So, um, I emptied my cup today at 11. So I woke up around 11 this morning and it was a disaster. <laughs> it was horrible. So what happened for me is, um, if you don't pull like fast enough, th then it, you grab on with this thing and it's like, I wish I had it in front of me. So let's just say, like this is the cup. Like the little pulley is like down in the center. So when you pull down, it makes this cave in. Well, you only can only go so far down with this and there's like a little ball that's holding it so it's not gonna like fall through the cup. 
Well, if you don't go fast enough, then it just, you pull and pull and pull. It puts um, so much pressure on it that it pops out. So what happened was I was pulling, like I didn't have this problem last time because it was towards the end of my period. I was pulling and then I didn't do it fast enough. So this totally ripped out from the cup. So all, there's a, like a little hole at the bottom. All of it comes pouring out onto my hand and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. And even after that happened, I like looked down to see how much was in it. So again, let's just say that this is the cup. Most people are like saying that like only, it only fills up to like here. Mine was at the top, like not overflowing. It probably had like, I don't even know, an eighth of an inch left of space where it could have filled up more, but it was, it was pretty full. So even though I had pulled, so it may have been overflowing before I pulled out the hole. I don't know. So yeah, that was, that was day one. First, first day I'll keep you guys updated on how the rest of the week goes. This is my only menstrual cup and I really only want it to be my menstrual cup. So the whole point of this experience is for me to find a way to make it work and let you know like the best ways to make it work if you have a heavy period. So I'll probably come back at the end of my period and tell you what worked for me and then also like any tips and tricks, whatever. Hopefully I get better at this. But yeah, I, I think if you have a heavy flow, as far as day one, I think if you have a heavy flow, it's good to wear, I'm still wearing a pad because just to be safe, but there was barely, barely any, anything. Um, but I will tell you about my first experience with it. So this cup is, and I don't know if all cups are like this, but it's definitely a learning curve. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to talk about insertion and all that after my period so I can actually physically show you. So yeah, I will see you momentarily. Okay, so I've actually been through another period since I recorded the first part of this video. I've had a lot going on lately. Um, for those of you who do not know, I am a master level social worker and um, I just, not just, but I completed my hours to get my clinical license, which means I can do private practice. So I've had weddings to go to since the, uh, since that first part of the video was filmed. And then I am actually taking my clinical license test on Monday and it's Saturday when I'm filming this. So yeah, I've been studying a lot. So, but I wanted to come back and finish this because I feel like I have really tested the flex cup and I can tell you my thoughts about everything so here's the cup this is clean obviously when you first get a cup make sure you boil it for a couple minutes and then in between uses you want to wash it with a non-fragrant soap in hot hot water so here's here's the cup here's how it looks so the difference between this one and all the other ones this is the only one i've tried as i said before is it has this pulling mechanism like a tampon so let me show you guys so it just you pull it and then it um breaks the seal so i'll tell you about my first experience so my first experience with it um a lot of times they'll tell you with cups to like bear down that way it's easier for you to grab well i thought with this you don't have to bear down so what i did was i pulled it and then it popped like this. So all the blood came out of there. And w every fear you have about cups, I experienced. I was a bloody hot mess. Like it was bad. And then the annoying thing about this is you have to like maneuver it a certain way so you can pop it back in. All right, so you have to pull it back up and then essentially you have to fix the cup because what happens is when you try to push it back down, you have to like maneuver. 
sorry, my hair is like all in this now. Um, you have to maneuver it because if you don't fix it, it's gonna be like dipped like this. So you just wanna pull, and then you have to, man see, this is, the, this is the difficult part about this, is you have, it takes you a while to maneuver it. My God, I have so much hair. Um, you have to maneuver it to where it's not like that. So honestly, like I just kind of twist it around until it goes back to normal. So that's normal. It's got like a little bit of a dip right there, but not bad. So, uh, as you guys know, um, I have a very, very heavy flow. Um, so it's not like these girls like, oh, you're not gonna get, it. like you will get dirty. Like I'm just saying, uh, from personal experience, I would not feel comfortable using this in public. I can wear it throughout the day in public, that's no problem, but the actual insertion, you need to, you need to do it at home. So, cause the problem is, is like, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can fold it like this and then go like this. This is a little too fat for me. I don't know, everyone's got different shapes and sizes, but for me, like the first couple times I try it like this, I think they call this like the taco shape or something, but my personal preference is to bend down the middle and then kind of do it like that. I know it seems like it's worse, but I don't know, like this kind of shape, like in a circular. So like, again, push down the middle and then almost like make more of a circle. I don't know how to explain how that's easier than this, but I feel like the way that I do it, like making it more of a circle so you kind of like push it back and then make it like a little flower i don't know i just feel like it's easier because once you get past like this point and it opens up now i don't know if other cups are like this because i haven't tried other cups but for me it's a learning curve and the reason I say it's messy is because it doesn't just like open up it like will kind of the way that I do it kind of get stuck and this little edge will kind of push down so you have to essentially turn it inside of you what I do is just kind of wiggle I feel like that helps and then I don't have to twist it as much but you essentially have to like go up there and make sure it's not caved in anywhere so you like take it by the base and just kind of turn it until you you'll be able to tell like I don't know if I just have a small area or what but I feel like for me like this part got caved in pretty easily like towards the bottom and my concern with that is my first few days of trying this i got a lot of not a lot of leakage like it wasn't like a lot but there was like if i didn't have a pad on i would have leaked on my underwear so i still haven't stopped using pads but i'm thankful to say my tampons are gone and i don't plan on repurchasing them but and i don't have to wear like a giant pad like i used to like i used to have to wear a tampon and then like the super jumbo pads so as for time wise I definitely think this will last a work day so for reference I use about anywhere from five to eight tampons a day my first five days so my period is seven um the older I'm getting the longer the heavier days are when I was younger it was usually like the first three were bad and then it was fine the rest of the time now it's like Pretty much the first five are bad and the last two days are like nothing. So when I empty this, when I get home after work, it's full. Like it's probably to there, maybe a little bit higher or a little bit lower, give or take. But I've seen many people being like, oh, mine was only to here. They they have light periods. That's the only thing I can think of for that. Um, so overall, I really like it. I I have found the technique. So we're gonna do some visuals because you know, I'm weird. So like, let's just pretend this is you. So you got the little string hanging out. What you wanna do is bear down. because what bearing down is essentially gonna make it like this. So it's still sealed, 
but it's coming out. And then you pull just a little bit where it will break the seal, but not so much that you're going to make it pop out. Cause I'm telling you that pop out thing, it takes forever to fix. And then it's gonna get down to here where you can just grab it. So it breaks the seal because if, if it's down here and you just try to pull, it's gonna, be, it's gonna not feel so great. So then it's down here and you just pull it out and then dump. Easy peasy. And then you can either wash it out in the tub or wash it out in the sink or whatever floats your boat. Don't wash it out in the toilet. That's just gross. I hope nobody does that, but just so you know. So use hot water. Um, it is so important that you clean it in between and clean it well. Um, you don't want like any soap or anything in there because it will just like crustify and get nasty. And that's something that's inside of you. So infections are a real thing and you definitely don't want that to happen to you. So overall, I'm not going to buy another cup. This is 40 bucks. It was very expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's comfortable. It's got the little tab to make breaking the suction. From what I've heard, other cups, you have to kind of like push it to break the seal. And that's just a lot of work. So overall, I do recommend the Flex Cup. I am not interested in using the discs because the whole point of using a cup is like, so you don't have to repurchase it. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in some way, shape, or form. This is very different for me. But yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.